guys, I can explain. Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to some more auctions not included. And yes, we are starting a new playthrough. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not done with the achievement run, but I saw that the new Frosty Plant Pack came out for the game, and I'm a sucker for ice and snow biomes, and I saw there's new stuff, and I wanted to start over because of that. Um, I will be doing the achievement run another time and date i just needed a break after completing car the carnivore achievement that was a very tough achievement and i think it kind of took it out of me which is probably why i haven't seen uh some content for it so i'm hoping this start will help me kind of get a refresher and make me feel a little bit better about moving back into the achievement run playthrough so i do appreciate your patience on it and i hope this content will at least suffice for a little bit um but please let me know what you think down below um and anyone who is checking out the channel for the first time welcome glad to have you here my name is stapes and uh yeah so i'm not very good at auction not included but i sure do enjoy it but we're going to start a new survival playthrough we're going to be doing the frosty planet pack and checking out all the new stuff in there so if you have any feedback tips tricks uh liking commenting always helps out for the you know youtube engagement but that's gonna be enough of that let's go ahead and jump into a brand new auction not included game all right so survival um i am going to be doing a spaced out i do like doing the spaced out ones uh and then i'm going to try to get some game settings here that i like uh re-roll for a little bit i don't know if we're ever going to get that far oh actually hang on wait a minute oh yeah there we go this the Kreas Miner. All right. So that's where we're starting first. And we want to make sure we some, get some good um, uh, some good biomes here. Uh, metallic caves. I don't think it's too great. Uh, Geoactive is probably good. So we have more geysers and vents that would be good to handle and uh, tame. I think we have large glaciers, huge chunks of primordial ice. I don't think... Well, no, we could avoid that one if we really wanted to. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and try to roll this a little bit. And I will let you guys know what I come up with. A few moments later... Okay, everybody, I think I found the cluster that I want to do, and admittedly, the other asteroids are pretty terrible, uh, besides maybe the Tundra Asteroid or the Lush Core. Uh, but I, for the, our least starting planet, I went the Crash Satellites, Metal Rich, Frozen Core, and Large Glaciers, really feeding into the fact that this is a frozen planet, or flo uh, frozen asteroid. This is where we're starting at, um, so I wanted to make it sure it was the most interesting. Uh, so yeah, we have those four. I think that we wanted to feed into that, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do all story traits, and we're not doing any scramble DLCs. Go back to that. No, I lost it. Oh, Stapes, you idiot. I forgot to save the seed. All right, well, back to it. One hour later. Okay, after taking entirely way too much time, I think I found another one. I ideally didn't want to go with volcanic activity, but now that I think about it, it's okay to have some volcanic activity in a frozen area. There's cool biomes like that all the time, so I'm going to go with it. We have some pretty good other biomes for other asteroids. If I make it that far, hopefully I do. If I don't, I'm sorry. I know I'm, I am I, I quit way too early. But anyway, let's see. We got geodes. We have large glaciers. We have volcanic activity and frozen core. I'm going to take this. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to go paste it on a notepad that's on the next uh, on my next monitor so we don't forget about that. Okay, great. Now then. Did I mess it up again? Yes. Okay, well, that's why we did that. Okay, well, man, really, really doing a great job here. Okay, golly. Anyway, I'm going to look at the game settings. We're good there. Okay, yep, we're going to do default settings. For any, anyone who wants to follow along, I have the seed for you. There you go. Story traits are good. DLCs are good. All right, we're good. I'm going to hit the start game before I mess up anything else. Okay, welcome to our three new little dupes here. And if you guys don't know how dupe naming works on the channel, I will pull members of my community first. And then those of you who would like to be a dupe, I will get you after that. But I'm going to uh, kindly get my uh, paid members on here first so that they uh, that's part of their little uh, tier two, I think. And then tier one goes down to that. So we're going to have Kevin, we're going to have Danzy, we're going to have, I believe, Tiu, and we're going to have Evan eventually. I need to get my full members list up, but I know Kevin and Danzy and I believe two will be first in line for those. And we're going to go ahead and try to get some good traits here on these dupes. I'm not going to name them until after I get their traits, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to get as, as much of a spread as I can. I don't know exactly what we're going to need for this DLC, but we're going to try uh, try our best. That's <laughs> that. Needless to say, I haven't watched any content on it, so it's going to be completely blind to me as well. So I'm going to get these dupes and I'll show you guys what we got. Okay, after rolling for some time, we have Danzy, Kevin, and Tiu. I did a randomly pull, and these are the three that we got. Uh, Danzy will be focusing on our cooking with a little bit of strength and some germ resistance, but decreased in agriculture. Kevin here has plus three ex uh, construction and excavation with a stylish decor, so I feel like he's going to be our builder slash designer. It feels like it's very fitting. 
but he cannot do cooking errands, which is fine. And then we have two who's going to be focusing on our researching. I've got the doctoring skill as well. They are radiation eater. They can convert radiation exposure into calories, which is really cool. Never had that one before, but they are allergic to floral scent. Now, there's an interesting new trait in here that I think is new to the game. I could be wrong. You guys let me know. But I thought it was going to be too powerful for this type of planet, but it is immune to cold. Um, so I did not take that and I, I wanted to not completely negate what we were going into. Um, we have the colony named Arctic Heart. I feel like it's pretty fitting. And that is our settings for our three dupes that are starting out. So without further ado, let's finally get this show on the road because I feel like I have been, uh, I feel like I've been doing setup for a while now. But anyway, time to embark. And here we are on our frozen planet. The ambient temperatures of this planet are inhospitably low. I've, de I've detected ruins of a scientifically advanced settlement buried deep beneath the landing site. If my duplicates can survive the journey into this frosty planet's core, we sh could use the newfound technology to build a colony like no other. All right, so let's begin. So what we have here, we can immediately see there's something new. We have a wood pile, uh, so that's completely new to us. We have some new animals here. We have a phlox. We have aloe... Al Alveo er Vera, uh, we have uh, the Idyllia flower, okay. Uh, does this produce wood? That's kind of going to be important, isn't it? A polluted oxygen, carbon dioxide, uh, that's where it can live. Information, the decorative plants with soft, pompous shaped blossoms, fancy decor item, properties, primary element, genetic ooze, okay, very good. So I'm assuming we can actually e easily look this up in our book. Uh, if we look at the flower uh, grown from that, Growth requirement, farm plot. It uh, doesn't really say what they provide. I think they just provide... I think they just provide kind of a decorative morale for us. All right, anyway. Uh, so we have the aloe vera as well. So I'm going to check out some of this new stuff so that we can all check it out together. Uh, hortico uh, horticulturists have been curious about the productive... I, you know, I'm not going to pronounce any words. I'm, you guys probably know that, what that is, but I don't. That prevents the oxalite or from uh, some... Lim Subliminate, sub, sub, sublimit, subliminating? Why can I not speak today? Why is it just one of those days? Anyway, while on the planet, unfortunately, it is too fragile to survive hand, uh, handling. It has thus for proven impossible to study. Okay, so that thing is just going to basically die when we touch it. And it consumes carbon dioxide and ice, though, and forms harvestable oxalite. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, okay, so it takes that and turns it. Mm, very cool. All right, we have the uh, phloxes. Let's see what they got. Uh, Floxes, they live in these temperatures. They're non-hostile critters and fallen pike apples. Uh, when the flocks antlers are fully grown, hardened into shearable wood. Oh, we're going to need to start. We're going to need to get a ranch of them. Okay. Confined when the room is smaller than 12 cells, when the room has less than 12 cells of space for each critter. Okay, so we're going to have to make a big enough ranch for that. Um, we're going to figure out, we're going to need to get a shearing station, which is immediately. All right, so let's go ahead and at least start getting our basic, we have cinnabar ore, uh, phosphorite, dirt. Uh, we do have something down here. We need to go down here. That looks like it is a wood heater, which is going to be important. So we honestly probably should dig down to that. And we have a coat rack with a coat on it. Okay, well, let's go ahead and try our best to get down. I think I'm going to have this bound be where I need to go. So we'll have, you know, let's see, look how many cells do we want here. I don't want to go too crazy with it, but I think what I'm going to do is have it the ladder be right here to have our first shaft. So do that. I know that's a lot, but I'm going to keep the jobs. So that's three out from here. So we want to do three out from here. And that's where our ladder is going to be. I know we're cutting through some of the environment there, but we want to go ahead and kind of start digging out if we can. And let's go ahead and just set up some dig jobs just to open these up. And then we want to go ahead and get in here as well. Uh, we'll have to take out those plants, unfortunately, but... Um, that'll be fine. We're going to leave that there if we can, uh, leave some of the oxalite. Actually, breaking the oxalite does not matter now. I think I was pretty, I think in some of my previous playthroughs, I was pretty adamant on not breaking these, but I think it's fine to break them now. Um, you guys are freezing, so we need to get down there and dig that out. So I'm going to go ahead and set up these jobs. We'll have the, uh, the flocks here. It's like flocks. Yeah, we'll have the flocks there. So I'm going to get these jobs done. Ooh, also we have the uh, research portal. Interesting. Okay, we probably should look at that as well. So I'm going to set up jobs to go that way. Um, because that may help us get some things. Uh, functional research decryptor with one transmitting uh, transmission remaining. It was delighted to support the colony survival. All right, so that'll actually give us a free research, it looks like. Uh, we need to get our basic necessities down, which means we need to get research as well. Uh, we need to get a bedroom set up for you guys. So we need to have a place for people to sleep, which means we're going to have to have some warmth for you guys, because obviously it is... Frigid. 
Um, so I think I might get you guys a bed over here. Also, there's something up here. Smart looking smart storage. A smart looking one. Oh, okay. So the smart storage is now smart looking. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and get some bed set up. Uh, we also need to get bathroom set up first. So I'm going to go ahead and say, hey, let's go up here. And we're going to have three high for right now. I think three high will be okay. At least I'm going to have this. I think I'm going to have this as a primary just kind of transportation a walk to shaft and then we'll have like rooms up in top. Um, but there's some new things in this game that I want to use and make it more comfy. They have like these cabin like tiles now and I want to make the base revolve around those. Um, so that's kind of what my goal is to do that. I'm going to try not to build too much here. Uh, we're just going to dig and use the natural environment, but we know this ice is kind of frozen. Speaking of temperatures, you know, we're on a frozen planet. What is the actual temperatures of this planet? Frigid. It's not absolute. Oh, wait, is it absolute zero? What is, what is, what are, what are we feeling? Negative 28 degrees. Yeah, you guys are freezing. Uh, we really, actually, no, we need, we need this heater. We, actually, we just get to the research first. Kevin, you don't need to be doing this right now. Uh, let's get some priorities going. I want you guys to focus on getting down here. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Let's get to this research first. Also, I hear, like, my warnings. No oxygen generator built. Yeah, we're fine on that. We got plenty of ox light. Um... Actually, no, that's the music in the background. That's lovely. Uh, let's see. Yep, we know all this. But boop. All right, so back to priorities. Let's say getting to the research station is a must. And I'm actually going to say, hey, you guys can get this next, but open that up fully. And then after you guys are done with that, let's do this as seven all the way down. So that we can actually get down here and start getting to this wood heater because I feel like that's going to be important. But yeah, these are the tiles I was talking about, the wood tiles. Uh, I would like to make the colony kind of based off those. I don't know if they're going to be very good. Um, but it says, used to be wall build walls and floors rooms, provide good insulation and boost decor. So the insulation is the good key there. Uh, so if we look at the temps here, well, obviously it's not going to be, you know, not going to show us anything right now because there's no, you know, heat. But yeah, hey, once we get that heater going, that is, um, that's the plan. So I'm going to get these guys to dig through here and get this initial research done. Okay, so we have the unlock research. I think T.U. is going to go over here and do it. So T.U. is hitting it. And what do we unlocked? All right, so we've discovered a research. Uh, we have research discovered. We have discovered a wood heater, an ice liquefier, and wood tiles. So we immediately unlocked these things. And we're going to immediately want to build them. Um, so let's hit OK on that. And we have we can build these nice wood tiles now. So I might make a nice little warm room for you guys. Uh, just so you have a place to uh, have respite and... So I think what I'm going to do is, like I said, I might... No, that's going to be a waste of space if I just have like a two-wide shaft here just for travel. We want we want to make rooms out of these things. So I might have, I think, four high is typically what we want to do. So I think I might just do four high tile uh, rooms. So we'll say, hey, the bedroom starts up here. And we're going to go ahead and use our logs to build this. We just need to make sure we have enough room for beds. Let's go ahead and plan this out. Um, we'll dig four high. And we're going to need a ladder to get up there which is fine. We'll have the ladder there. And we want to make sure we get some beds for you guys. Get some cots down. One, two, and three. And I'm just going to go ahead and say, hey, we're going to insulate this room. We need to make sure we have room for a heater. So honestly, what we need to do is cancel this. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Slow down, Stakes. We need to make sure we properly plan this so you guys don't die. We don't want any death happening. So we're going to have a okay, okay size room. Uh, we don't have enough for a pneumatic door right now. Uh, we don't have any metal ore, but we can go ahead and say, you know, we're eventually going to put one there eventually. Um, and then we want this to be wood tiles up here. And then we want enough for one of those heaters. Uh, do we have the heater unlocked? I thought I said that we unlocked the heater. Utilities. Yeah, we're missing, the, we're missing the metal ore. So we definitely need metal ore. We have some cinnabar right here. So what we're going to do is set up dig jobs for that because we want it. And with, I'm okay just digging the stuff out. You guys can reach it. Uh, no problem there. Uh, but we do have some cinnabar ore over here, so we want to get that as much as we can. We'll get some of this ice. And we're going to... We have plenty of water with this ice here. Now, how does this work? Because I'm learning with you guys. Like, if you guys haven't seen any of this yet, I... No one knows much about this except for maybe the playtesters that played this game. Or, you know, played at least the uh, early build. Um, so... And I've watched very little on it. I kind of was like, you know what, I'm actually going to save this and learn for myself. Uh, which I know is kind of a dangerous thing for me to do because, you know, I'm not the greatest thing. We have the collapse ceiling, that's okay. Alright, so you guys are doing that, we're missing resources for that. Uh, we don't want to use up too much of our wood either. And actually, what are we building these out of? Oh. 
I wasn't building those out of wood, was I? I think we're just out of raw minerals, which is fine. Um, actually, though, it's not fine. Uh, we need to get up there. Oh, and you guys have no access. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we're, we'll build, you know, we're building a snow tile. Yep, yeah, yeah, we're doing that. We're building some snow tiles, which is actually kind of cool. I like that. We're gonna have a two wide shaft right now. Uh, we can bring this back if we need to and have just a smaller set of rooms right here in the middle. Um, but I do want to get a research station if I can. Honestly, we might push all this back eventually. But I need to make sure you guys can get over to the wood here. Uh, we have 18,000 kg of wood uh, that we're storing here. So I want to make, oh, we also need to get bathrooms. Okay, all right. Yep, all right, I'm, uh, yep, oxygen not included. I missed it. Oh, we need to get some bathrooms down. I think we're gonna have bathrooms here. And then we may have like a community thing right here. Uh, so people can have a nice place to relax. So we may have like bathrooms right here down lower. Um, and then maybe have it go out this way. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Have like a community like thing here, maybe just some more rooms. Have you guys focus over here. So let's go ahead and get the basics of um, basics of our dupes down. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to get this planned out. OK, so I've got a little bit of a plan going here. Uh, we have our rooms up here and then our bathrooms down here. And you can see here that I've kind of got these. I think this is the kind of room design I'm going to go for here. Four by rooms uh, with like ledges near the uh, near the I guess the uh, ladder shaft here. And then we're going to just kind of start over here, at least get our living spaces. Um, acquired. Get a heater up here so you guys can, be, guys can be warm when you sleep. And then we probably will put a heater somewhere. Uh, we have to remember that if we put too much heat on these, these will probably melt. Uh, so probably don't want any heat right here for right now until we actually start converting a lot of this into living areas. But like I said, we're going to have this uh, be kind of like cabiny themed. We're going to eventually have this cabiny themed. Uh, right now, your houses are outdoors. So, you know, that's just something we have to deal with right now. Um, but I'm going to do two, two bathrooms and two sinks to start off with. Um, we're also going to need to find a way to get some water going, uh, which we do have the new ice level fire consumes wood to melt ice into water, which can be bottled for transport. Now, we're going to have to figure out how to get more wood. And these little guys, I think, are probably our best bet. Um, we need to get a shear machine probably pretty, pretty quickly because I don't see any other way to get. Um, oh, there's a what's a mammoth? Oh, this is new. What are you? Famous are lumbering, non-hostile creatures that subsist on um, squash. Their thick overcoats can be shorn for reed fiber. Oh. And a bamath patty. Okay, interesting. All right, so we're gonna have to. We're gonna need to get a shearing station. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to focus on probably ranching a good bit here. Um, so we have plum, plum squash. And we also have some of this up here. So we'll have to get some ranching going for plum squash, get these bamas happy, get these uh, floxes happy. So ranching is probably going to be a primary focus. We have a DIY cod up here. Very cute. Uh, we can go ahead and kind of go up, make this shaft go up here. So I think I'm just going to go say, hey, climb up here. And then once they get up here, we just dig into this area right here. Uh, say right there. And then we want to open that up. So you guys can get up there and step on that. I think that should be good. Good right there. Uh, we're going to have to get a super hard digging uh, skill. And I think kind of like all my other playthroughs, I think I want to leave the Abyssal Light alone. Um, I know we kind of talked about that in our previous playthrough. Uh, so I might leave the Abyssal Light alone when I can. Also, we have a geyser over here. What kind of geyser do we have? A cool salt slush geyser, which is not bad. We can get some water from that. Uh, we also have, it looks like the telepor teleportation receiver. I don't know what this one. I don't think I saw this one in my previous playthrough. So I think we got something there. Uh, let it, let's go ahead and take a look at the heat overlay. Uh, I just want to check real quick to see if we see any weird heat spikes in terms of geysers. I don't think we do. There is some heat over here. We don't know what this is. We can see it's electric display, but there's some heat over there that we have. So there's that. So I'm going to let my dupes get to work. Let you guys uh, finish this up. Hopefully uh, not fall asleep in the dark. Um, Hang on. Wait. Whoa, whoa. We haven't done the schedule yet. All right. Oh, man. OK, you guys aren't going to work yet. Um, we really need someone to work right now. I might have. You guys will need to get to work. I think we get, we're good to have this. This, I think two hours of sleep is fine. Actually, three hours should be good. And then, well, I know I moved it up a little bit, but no one's really a morning bird. I could have swore two hours is fine. We're going to try two hours for right now. Um, yeah. We'll have a bedtime here, bath time here, work here. I know that's what we just had, but 
Okay, we'll work with this for right now, and then I'll adjust this later, but we need to make sure... Oh, we also need to set you guys a priority. Uh, so, priority-wise, Dandy will need to be doing cooking, for, first and foremost, then maybe some tidying, uh, supplying, and storing. Um, and then Tiu is going to be focusing on researching, if Tiu can. Uh, doctoring... Nah, we, I'm going to leave that in neutral right now. We don't have to worry about uh, doctoring at the moment, but um, we need to worry about digging and construction if you can so building uh so t you can work on that and kevin of course will be focusing on these first and foremost so we're gonna have that for right now basic setup and then we'll adjust as needed uh you guys aren't gonna be able to sleep so oh no you guys are yeah you literally cannot sleep so that's fine let's go ahead and just do since you guys can't sleep let's just do some emergency priorities let's just say hey get this in here done like you guys need to do that or just freeze that's fine too you guys do what you need to do um, oh, wait a minute. You guys can't even reach that. There we go. Okay, why are we not moving? Unreachable build, pneumatic door, unreachable dig. Why are we, why are we not building? Why, why are we not doing anything? Guys, guys, it, it's, it's time. We need, we need to get to work. No. All right. Top priority. Top. Okay. You guys are just going to freeze. All right. You know what? No sleep time for you guys. Even I know we're just gonna be working. Get to work. Um, honestly, yeah. Until we get everything fixed up to a livable space, it's work time all the time. Have fun with it. Okay. So let these guys get that. I know I'm terrible right now, but we we really need this done. We really need a livable space, and then down here, you guys need to focus on that. So until we get a livable space, no sleeping. No sleeping whatsoever. Uh, that's unreachable. That's fine. We can actually dig out like a little bit of space up here and you guys can eventually reach that Because once we have that heater going, it's gonna melt all the ice around us. So there's that and we have plenty of oxalite to go around Um, so we don't need to worry about getting oxygen generation up. I think the oxalite's gonna provide just enough for us All right, so we have that door done. We have the heater done So that heat's gonna kind of spread out through here and heat up the this elevator, which is gonna melt the ice um, most likely. I don't know how well this is going to heat up, but I mean, the ice could, it could just be so cold that it's not going to heat up everything. But the goal here is to at least have, um, this room heat for you guys. Uh, then we can honestly dig out some of this back here as well, or down here. Looks like you guys can reach this digging spot. Uh, made a mess. That doesn't surprise me. Where did we make a mess at? Hopefully nowhere crazy. Okay, right at the entrance of the bathroom. That's fine. We'll, oh, it just immediately freezes into polluted... That's actually kind of nice. It just immediately freezes. Yeah. It's going to be polluted. Oh, it's just snow. It just turns into snow. Not even polluted snow. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Um, right. I, you know, I'm just going to set high priorities to all of those right here. You guys get that done. That we have a place to use the bathroom and not pee everywhere. Uh, we are running out of wood. We do have those. Those are producing oxygen for us. There's not really a... Other than these guys, there's not really a source of wood, is there? Yeah, so we'll have to find that. All right, so we have heat now, which is good. Looks like it's covering that area. Uh, you guys have cots now. So we can assign these to... We're going to have Danzy here. We have two there. And Kevin will be in the middle once Kevin gets that built. I'm hoping we get some new doors that are actually uh, insulated. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, and then Kevin has there. All right, so cool. There is our initial setup for our colony. You guys are getting the bathrooms and stuff set up. So we're going to have this flip to the left because you guys wash your hands going out. I know you're tired. I know you're tired. Just get this stuff done. You guys can get a nice deserved amount of sleep. Uh, how is the temps heating up here? Okay, it's going to warm up, but you guys have a place. Okay, really? We're not going to we're not going to dig this up right here. What's that priority right there? Five. Yeah, we need to get all of this done. Hang on. Uh, We need to get like at least an eight on that. That's the wrong thing. Actually, no, if that thing needs, yeah, if that thing needs logs, do that. Uh, eight and then eight. I want to at least have that area digged out. Uh, and then you guys will finish this up and we'll at least have a place for people to use the bathroom. Oh, uh, that snow tile needs a nine because that uh, yeah, outhouse is not going to work unless that snow tile is there. Okay. So we have basics done. You look so amused, Kevin. Look at you. Man, I'm sorry. I know you're probably tired, but still. All right. So we got polluted water. We have uh, no oxygen generator. That's fine better flocks but you guys can sleep now very good so that means because we have everything set up the way we need to we're gonna have bedtime right here we'll have some downtime and then we'll have work schedule i think two hour uh I, I want these two gone you guys don't need to climb over that uh what we do need to do 
is we need to also set up a storage area. So I'll probably have a storage area up here, kind of like what we've done in our previous playthrough and have things drop. Uh, we're going to need to get the, I believe, the smart storage. So let's go ahead and look at getting where we can do power and where we can put. OK, let's make sure we do everything in order. So we need research station. And I don't think that this requires. Oh, no, it does require power. Also, we need to move our ration box to a place where we can have CO2. That is a thing that needs to be done. So we need to think about where all that's going to go. I might clear out this area right here. We do have a sherberry sure plant harvest ready, so we can probably do some, something with that. Um, but I'll probably have storage up here, have cooking right here. Uh, we do want a bigger space for cooking, though. My mistake I made in my last playthrough is that I didn't have enough space for cooking. So I might have it uh, elsewhere. We could honestly have a kitchen here, which would not be too bad. But we need to make sure we have a sunken tile for the CO2. All right. I'm going to think about what I want to do here and plan this out. I know I'm probably getting a little ahead of myself, but, you know, we at least have the outhouses and uh, people to use the bathroom. So at least we have that. OK, so uh, research wise, we're having to put the research station over here. Normally, I would put it here because of the bonus light that we get from the printing pod. But the problem with the printing pod is that we have the wood pile, which we can't remake. Um, and we also have the ration box, which I can't move at the moment. And we have pemmican in it, which I think would be actually fine outside of the ration box. But I'm going to leave this here for right now because I don't know the proper way to handle this at the moment. I would have to go back and look at my previous playthroughs to see how I would handle this food here. But for right now, I'm actually moving it next to this research portal. This actually produces light. Uh, so you can actually put it here and have light for your dupe. Um, I think they should stand at, and have enough light there to get that done. Uh, that way we get the actual bonus from the lighting. So that's where we're at on that. So I'm going to speed up time and uh, hopefully get some more of this done. Uh, we actually need water. Oh, right. OK, so we probably need to produce water because we won't be able to wash our hands or use the bathroom. So in terms of utilities, and I'm assuming this is going to require power. No, it doesn't. OK, we can actually we can work with that. We can work with that. Uh, so in order to produce water, I'm actually going to put this here. Oh, it's like a little tea kettle. OK, you guys get that done. Hang on. Let's let's, let's kind of let's put an eight there. So you guys get that done. Uh, I'm gonna look at my priority list again. Okay, you guys are kind of building your walls, so that's gonna heat up the area. Uh, we can see our temperature overlay. Not doing too much. How much does this use per? Using wood, 25 grams per second. We have how much? We have 11,000 kilograms. Okay, we're gonna run out of wood if we don't find something relatively soon. We do have some wood down here, 400. Not terrible, but not great either. You guys are digging down to here. So we'll need to find a source of wood at some point. We have a pike apple bush. Do these produce wood? Yet most uh, almost unbearably fragrant food. OK, not what we're looking for. Yeah, we're going to have to ranch these guys quickly. Uh, so ranching is going to be our number one priority. Uh, so we get these flocks horns because they're going to provide wood to us. And that's going to be very important. So it looks like foxes are going to be what we're focusing on. So I'm going to probably have a ranch over here or something and um, get all these foxes moved over um, and We'll have to be careful with this cool salt slush geyser because it is going to cool us off a good bit. Uh, what is it? What is the temperature in here? It's actually warmer than out here, interestingly enough. Huh. That's actually going to heat up the area. Kind of strange. Anyway. All right. So you guys are going to work on that. We have our ice liquid fire. I love that. That is a awesome design. It's like a little tea kettle. Love it. <laughs> so we do have some water now. You guys should be able to provide with that. Um, I'm going to say this Insufficient wood, so you guys will provide there when you can. I'm going to put that as an eight. And uh, hopefully we get some water so you guys can wash your hands. We do have, we need to have a designated area for moving a lot of our stuff, but I need to get the smart storage done. So uh, we have our water, so you guys can get water from that. Uh, actually, now I think about it. It can be bottled for transport, but if we don't have this warm enough, the water's just going to instantly freeze. We've got to warm this entire area up. No, I think about it. Also, the snow keeps falling. Stop that. Yeah, so we actually need to have the water. OK, so it's turning into water. We do have water delivered here. But everything's just turning into ice. We yeah, we're going to have to heat up things. So if we look at this. It's kind of getting warmer. We have all of this up here. We need to build this if we can. So they need to get up here, dig this out, build this in here so it actually insulates properly. So yeah, we have insulation work to do and we have 
to make sure we have water at least so you guys can get water we might want to insulate all of our area start doing that i know it's going to break a lot of stuff but we probably need to insulate a lot of stuff okay very interesting hmm yeah this is this is a completely new different way to play also a new dupe Ooh, do we already want to introduce a new dupe into our lovely cabin here It would help us get some stuff done. I think I'm going to introduce one more dupe. It could be dangerous. Also, we have bed and bath. Excellent. Here's a blueprint. Do we have anyone good? Science, strength, medicine. Husbandry? Ooh, yeah. Increased husbandry? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to take this May, and this is going to be Evan. I'm going to call him Donnie. All right, so print that. We're going to take this one. Uh, that husbandry is just so good. All right, so we're going to take that. We need to make sure... <laughs> I like how I built all this out already, and then we're immediately taking it down. Um, <laughs> so you need a cot. We're going to put a cot there. <laughs> hey, guys, I need you to destroy this if you don't mind, because <laughs> we have a new dupe. <laughs> all right, so we have a wood tile. We're going to bring those over. Uh, we only need to bring it over one, and then we can do this. That's fine. We just need... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Stop. I'm dumb. There we go. And with Tyler. All right, very good. All right, so let's get that built out for Evan, and then, uh, yeah, let's let's uh, hopefully not not run out of wood. And Evan's gonna immediately start on uh, Evan's job of ranching these floxels once we get the research for it. All right, get a cot down, and there we go. Boom. All right, let these guys work on these for a little bit, and um, yeah, hopefully have something to go off of. We're gonna have to start that research relatively soon. Okay, well, we're moving into cycle four, and of course, we didn't get Evan's cot built in time, so Evan was sleeping on the ground, but that's okay. Evan's just immediately getting back to work and not complaining much, so I appreciate that, Evan. But you do have your cot now, so you can sleep well the next night. Uh, I plan to go down here. Uh, we're going to actually get some of our CO2 to fall in this pit right here. We do have some aloe vera that can actually handle that, uh, so we're going to rely on that. Ooh, we have uranium here. Okay, that's good. Uh, we could probably use that for some of our later technologies. Um, I never got that far in my previous playthrough, so I'm actually excited to probably try to work with that. But yeah, so we almost have the research station d done, and we're immediately, I think, going to go into ranching. Um, what I do also need to check is oxygen generation methods to see if we have anything new in terms of that. Um, and you see here the blue ribbon is the new DLC, so we can see what's new there. Um, do we have oxygen generation gases? We do have, what is this? Oxalite sconce. Store a small chunk of oxalite, which gradually reduces oxygen into the environment. Oh, right, because of the aloe vera, we may actually have permanent oxalite. That could be an interesting way to do that. I'm actually, I'm actually going to look through here. So we have, yeah, here's the wood tiles, which we already have that unlocked, which is good. We have ice blocks to make skull, ice sculptures. So in livable areas, so we don't want to make the entire area livable. We can have like coats and stuff to walk around them. I'm, just, I'm looking through to see what else we have. We have mercury ceiling light. So there's mercury now? I don't I remember there being mercury before. So it doesn't look like there's a ton of new technologies. Not that I'm seeing. We have a deep fryer. Okay, we can deep fry now. Cool, cool. Let's see what else do we got. Okay, we also have this wood block to make wood sculptures. So that's kind of new. Didn't have that before. But I think that's pretty much it in terms of technologies. I don't think we have a ton of new technologies. I don't know if we want to go for this oxalite sconce just yet. I think that might be a little too much. But in terms of oxygen generation, we're probably going to have to rely on those aloe vera plants, if I had to make a guess. But I think we need to focus on our husbandry first. Uh, we may have to rely on the polluted oxygen, too. We could do algae terrariums. Well, no, 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 no. We need to actually make algae for that. But we really need to get the ranching, or because wood is going to be super important. We've got to get the ranching, because we need the shearing station. We yeah, we've got to focus on that. We'll get food that. Uh, I think we should be okay on oxygen. We have the oxalite. The oxalite's going to push all the oxygen up. We have plenty of aloe vera plants to provide oxygen for us. So I think we'll be okay there. We have tons, tons of oxalite. I think we're going to have to run on oxalite and somehow figure out how to use that. So that's where the status of that. Uh, so we have the research going. T was going to focus on that for us and get that done until we actually get T a proper researching room, uh, which we might honestly turn this into a researching room for T. Are you at least getting the lighting bonus for this? Uh, are you getting the lighting bonus for that? I don't think you are, actually. Lit workspace, you are. Okay, great. 
So what we can do is actually turn this into a makeshift um, research station for right now, because I can't move this and I don't want to demolish it right now. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just put a pneumatic door here and then close this off. This should be enough to make this a research station for TU. It's going to be cold in here. So we may want to give TU like a coat down here. We have a coat, so, you know, we can say, hey, rummage and someone can find a coat. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing there. Uh, I'm going to try to get this coat for TU because TU is probably going to be in here the most. Uh, Danzy and everyone else can go to this heater over here and be nice and warm. How TU works in the freezing cold. I think TU is actually going to provide some heat. And you can see here that everything that provides heat. Uh, so we have that now. And we can kind of see that, hey, it's producing heat. Yeah, it has that new animation there. I don't remember that animation being there before. The tea kettle also produces heat. Uh, but it's getting cold. It, it's And it's remaining cold. But TU is freezing. Uh, we do have a warm coat. I'm going to throw that on to you. Uh, so to you, hopefully we'll go grab that and not be free uh, freezing anymore. We do now have this wood heater. We could probably move it or deconstruct it and move it, uh, do something else with it. Or we can turn this into a nice room. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it. We could put, place it in here, but we, we got to be careful of the eyes. We don't want to melt everything. How's to you? Uh, frost resistant. Okay, the stupid is recently visiting a warming station, sauna, or hot tub. They are impervious to cold as a result. Okay, so if they visit here, they're just impervious. Very good. Okay, so we're, re we're going into farming to finish that first tier of research. So that is where I'm going to leave this episode off, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is a taste of the Frosty DLC pack. Uh, if you want to play for yourself, I will provide the seed down below if you want to play this specific seed that we're doing here. But yeah, I think I'm going to enjoy this one. This one's going to be very interesting to work around all the heat mechanics and uh, all the ice and snow. So just a different way to play and uh, probably something, uh, I don't know, something, something different uh, than the achievement playthrough, which like I said, I needed to break on that. I do apologize for you guys waiting on that. I know you are, but I hope at least this kind of ties you off for a little bit. But hope you guys enjoyed as always. Uh, thank you for spending some of your time here. Hope you guys have a great day where you may be, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.